What's up guys? Welcome to Dub and Dad Gaming and today is Cyber Monday. So for those of you wondering where Dub is, he's at school and um, I'll be working tonight so I had to record now. Uh, anyway, let's move on to what's important, the deals. So basically all the unit offers have some goodies attached to them like Peter Parker's wallet, you get the 4 star hero shards, um, Black Panther's treasure, which, uh, you know, you get tier 2 alphas and um, some 5 star hero shards. So, and then lastly, you got the Odin, which of course you get the 3100 units. But on top of that, you get the 5 star hero crystal, 2500 6 star hero crystal shards, which um, even for end game players or higher level players, this is pretty hard to get up to now in my opinion and of course the 15,000 tier 5 basics catalyst fragments which is uh, very very enticing so they basically have um, offers catered to all kinds of players if you're a beginner uh, if you're right in the middle or end game player pretty much uh, covers uh, everything um, but what I'd like to focus on is um, if you guys have been playing for as long as I have, um, we all know that Cyber Monday and 4th of July is when Kabam really drops these. Uh, I would say sometimes it's good, but mostly it's decent deals. So, um, so we got the Cyber Monday cash, which is a thousand units, which I, I think this is the best thousand unit offer I've seen. In a while, so you get a hundred thousand gold, five star uh, five star hero shards, um, and uh, tier what's that? Oh, the tier one uh, alpha, which is okay. Two tier four basics and one tier four class catalyst crystal. This is especially good for the players who are desperate to get tier four class catalyst crystals. So, and then you get. After buying that, you move on to this um, Advanced Cyber Monday cash, which gets you other goodies. But of course, the big thing is the Ultimate Cyber Monday cash. So a 5-star Awakening Gem. I'm not sure if this is a generic or um, class-specific. We'll find out in a little bit. 2 Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst, 10 Tier 1 Alphas, 3 Tier 4 Class Catalyst Crystals. But this is the big one, the... 22,500 tier 5 basic um, catalyst fragments um, because if you're close to the um, well I'm not saying that we're on the upper end of the game but it's basically an arms race to get to um, as many rank 5 5 stars or rank 2 6 stars so and you also get a, th a million gold um, I made a video last week showing what um what the deals were in 2017 and obviously these are a lot better uh my only thing is going back to the unit offers is i just wish they would have put a um they would give it an option for a five star awakening gem either for the black panther stretcher or odin i mean because i mean don't get me wrong the tier five basics are good the six star hero crystal shards are great but um, everybody could still use a 5-star Awakening Gem, right? So, anyway, um, one last thing. If you guys see, my unit count is 21,653. Um, I'm sure people who, have, who haven't followed the channel might think I'm a whale, but this is uh, basically from grinding arenas and doing quests. I will rarely spend on this game, like I told you guys, I will spend money from time to time during 4th of July and Cyber Monday, but that's about it. Um, so, 4th of July, I got the 15,000 unit offer, and I was down to 288 units. So, it basically took me uh, over 4 months to get up to 21,653. Uh, I wanted to do the variant difficulty already, but I wasn't sure how much units Kabam would... Um, uh, what kind of unit offers Kabam would be offering so I decided to wait until um, the the unit offers came on Cyber Monday then that's when I'll be finished trying to finish up um, variant difficulty I should have enough units as you guys can see um, I have 
1.8 million battle chips so hopefully that should get me close to three another 3,000 units just in case I fall short um, in doing a uh, variant so anyway enough talking here we go let's uh the snow backing out now all right so we got that and we got this and of course the big one Oh, this is a generic awakening gem. Wow. So 10,000 units for, a, well, basically 15,000 units for a generic awakening gem. Man, this is, whew. All right, so I'm down to 6,653 units, but I'm okay with that. Um, I may not be the best player in the world, but that should hopefully get me through variant, right? I hope. So now I am uh, at 31,625 tier 5 shards and 8 of the tier 2 alphas. Uh, my main goal right now is to um, take Stark's Fighty to rank 5. I um, What am I doing? Sorry guys. Oof, spending that much units, you know. <laughs> kind of like... Uh, um, Confuse me for a moment. So I have two of the generic now. Um, so my main goal right now is to take Stark's Fighty to rank 5. Um, I took Domino to rank 5 before him because I wasn't confident enough to um, maximize his abilities. But the way I've been seeing War, uh, Stark's Fighty has been, well especially with the bleed immune nodes, has been more valuable than Blade. But um, when Season 6 drops... Blade will be back to his uh, old self, but I mean, if you have Blade at rank 5 and Stark Spidey at rank 5, that would be great, right? So, two generics. Um, just want to show you guys uh, real quick my 5-star roster. I don't think um, I'll be using any of that right now. Um, definitely not on Gladiator Hulk. Maybe on Iceman, but I don't know. I will wait and see before I make a mistake again, like the Punisher 29, 2099 debacle. So um, in terms of the uh, unit offers, uh, I might go for the um, for the Odin. Um, just oh, just one more thing. Um, hopefully, there is still an Amazon offer or Google Play offer for uh, for the iTunes gift cards where you, you get um, $20 off the $100 one so if you guys are gonna whale out you might as well try to maximize your money and um, get whatever discount you can because you know as a dad that's what I have to do uh, so anyway um, enough talking uh, so yeah there goes my 15,000 units so now that you guys know start saving up for uh, 4th of July you got a long way to go so anyway guys, thanks for watching and subscribe if you're new.